Did you see him? How'd it go? Not that well. Maybe I just should have left it alone. No. Hey, Dan. You should bring his down to the club tonight. Let us sit with me. Get a taste of a real audience. You know, I've seen her in front of a real audience. This girl rocks in front of a real audience. And no drinks in the studio, sweetie. And Saturn Nation is not a place for a 14-year-old. Okay, let's get back to it. What's Saturn Nation? It's a club I play at with my band on Sunset and Wilcox. You should come down anyway. Is he? Can I talk to her? Do you mind? Sure. John, uh, let's get him. Sure. Is he? Is he? Can you come in here a minute, please? That's him, isn't it? Yes, honey. Don't call me that. Don't call me honey. What makes you think you can call me honey? Is he? Baby, it's funny how once I'm close to landing a record deal, he suddenly comes out of the woodwork. Izzy, that's not true. I asked him to come here. Listen, I know how hard this must be for you. It is for me, too. I think we should talk. Fine, let's talk. Why'd you leave my mother? I screwed up. But I have been looking for you your whole life. Yeah, right. That's the truth, Izzy. I tried everything. I hired a private detective. I searched the internet. I even took out an ad in Rolling Stone magazine for 14 years, hoping your mom might see it. All the Rolling Stones in the closet, Izzy. You knew where he was the whole Oh, you were so complicated. We need to talk. No. I can't do this right now. Both of you, get out, please. I am so sorry. Whenever you're ready, your mom knows where I am. We need to talk. And I am so tired of you. around for the last 14 years if I made a mistake I thought he didn't want me and I hated him because of that and now I find 
find out he did. I'm sorry. Why? I was trying to protect you. No. You did it to protect you. And you hurt everybody else around you. I didn't know. I can't think. And I can't breathe. And right now, I hate you. Come to a decision. I'm going home to Georgia. No, I am not going home. Well, honey, you don't have to go, okay? It's your choice. You're leaving me here? With Sierra. Why? I heard you back there. I really heard you for the first time. And, uh, I think that we need to spend some time apart. And I think that it's time you made your own decisions about your life, about your career, and about a father that you just met. I gotta get back. Toby, I've come to say goodbye. I'm going to go back home. Izzy needs her space, and for the first time in her life, I'm I'm going to let her have it. There you go. Enjoy. Thank you. You know, Jazz, I would have been good for her. And for you. But I've come to realize something in my old age. We're not that old, are we? <laughs> Tommy, I'm sorry. I'm not... Stop. Look, we're... We're all on a journey here. And you know... Life's exactly the way it's supposed to be. Izzy is who she is because, because of the sum of you and of me and of her, our choices, our actions, and she's an incredible young lady. So stop beating yourself up, okay? Life's about forgiveness, Jazz. Call your daughter, okay?